Hello, welcome back. Last time I learned about the perils of right-clicking, and uh, also positioned myself pretty well for the first half of this puzzle. Uh, so I asked a question early on. You probably can't see it very well. The video encoding kind of eats this effect, but this text is fading between white and yellow here. Um, for some reason, I thought last time that that might have been because I had pictures I hadn't done, but it seems to just do it all the time. So, anyway, that's that question answered. Uh, so where was I here? I'm not sure this fake login I had gotten a... this far. So I have two snails available to me. I have the password. Password has to get down here, according to my analysis earlier. So... I have never been able to understand what's going on in this portion of the puzzle. But now I have two snails and possibly a fish to help me with it. So navigating right now is going to be a little bit hard. Oh, Shelby, what happened to you? I crawled into this procedure and now I can't get out. I guess I'm the wrong type of snail. I think I was supposed to hear this a little bit earlier, because <laughs> you can get out now. Um, so, well, Again. that doesn't work for you. Um, so, I'm not actually really sure. Alright, for one thing, it's really awkward to move anything around in here. Um, for another thing... Uh, what do I actually want to do, is the question. I have two snails, and that's cool. And I can do stuff like this to get that through here. Okay, great. So, I need, at the very least, guppy to get through here to push some stuff. To okay, so let's work backward for a bit. I've gone through this exercise before, but it was a while ago. At some point, Guppy's going to come swim down here, push this out of the way, the ice floats up, and then I'm able to push the password down there. Uh, it's going to require some snail assistance. No, that's not what's going to happen. It's a little more complicated than that. Wait, okay, so this can go three to the left, and that's where it's going to sit forever. Two, three. Uh, so this floats up. There's a wall right here. So this object is occupying those five tiles. Something I never figured out was how is the password going to get over this little lip here? I could put a snail on it and push it to the left, but the snail would get killed by... No, it wouldn't. Uh, yes, it would. Snail would get killed by lasers on the way down. Perhaps I need this block on that as protection. That's possible. Because, um, yeah, if I just push the password in there and don't do anything else, then it's just going to fall here and not go down the hole. So I need to get it down that hole. All right, so that's fine. Let's so that that does mean that I need to rescue this block to be a snail laser shield. Ch uh, lasers are coming from the right. So if I had, if I had password, password, password. Remember, this is not here. This is not here. Uh, Shelby, block that thing. Then Guppy could push left once. A uh, whole package would fall down. Snail would be protected from these lasers coming from the right, and everything would be good. Okay. So that's how I'm going to end the puzzle. That means I need to get the password and that block in here. That means... Oh, this is going to be neat. Okay, so at some point, I will have a situation where there is... Yeah, this can be real weird. Um... With snail assistance, I can change the shape of this block. I'm, I'm imagining how it would get from here to here uh, and navigate over all these obstacles. I was picturing something a moment ago where I would have, like, snail, snail, block. Guppy pushes left, 
Snail adjusts. Ooh, that's no good. No, it's not that. There's a snail stuck to the bottom of it, and I just push it straight to the left. Then unstick the snail, push the block, and it's fine. Okay. That's how it'll get through there. Um, yeah, and I think I can do a similar trick here, maybe? Well, not exactly. I guess I'll worry about that when the time comes. Let's just assume that this has to move in here. Okay. Uh, keep working backward. So the password has to get in there somehow. I'll figure that out when the time comes. Uh, this will go in this hole, presumably, and I rescue that block. Okay, I think I know how that's going to happen. I'll stick a snail to this, push it to the left. Those will both fall. Snail will then stick to this, and then I can move those things around. Uh, can I, though? Yes, I can. Mm -hmm. with Still two thinking? Yes, I am. <laughs> Shush. Uh, with two snails and a block, I can create a situation where, like, I'd have snail, block, snail, guppy, guppy, guppy. So I can push left, up, left, left, left. Yeah, and just move it like that. I don't need any other fancy stuff at all. That actually makes it much easier. Okay, because yeah, I could unstick this snail here and go this way. Unstick this snail here, stick to that surface, and push that in there. I already need a snail in there for that, though. Okay, anyway, uh, so what else? Next thing, big obvious problem here, is there's a laser going this way. That's very much in my way. Perhaps the password itself could be my laser shield, and I would insert it into that slot. How would I get it down there, though? To get it into that spot... Okay, do I... Can I bring... Actually, maybe it's not that. Maybe I drop one of these. Uh, no, nothing can be dropped through here. Oh, clearly this is where the, la the password drops. Password drops down here. Okay. Yeah, it looks like password drops down here. All the fish I need need to pass the laser, then I can push the password around with snail assistance. Well, I'll push that around and the password will fall. Hmm. Okay, so the password's going down here. I wonder why this exists. I wonder why this exists. Probably just to be radioactive. That's still enough space for Flounder to get through, so that's fine. I don't think I'm ever pushing these, certainly not this one, and probably not this one. Uh, yeah, those are just there for radioactivity. I guess you can't have a background element that's radioactive. Hmm. Anyway, so basically just, this is a death square, this is a death square, and that's all that those do. Okay, next problem. This is in the way. That doesn't have a very good way to move out of the way, though. The only place that can possibly move out of the way is to the right and up three. So that means somebody's going to have to hold it in place there while everybody else goes through. I guess it could be held in place by a snail anchored onto it here or here. Got to get it up there first, though. Okay, and I'm going to keep going backwards. So I think this needs to be pushed to the left. That would block off this passage from flounder-sized fish, which is fine. He can just be up there. Guppy can still make it through there. Okay. Uh, so Guppy needs to get through there. Okay, so if I just tried to do that... Um... Show me all the things that go wrong. Okay, thing number one, that blocks her. Ooh, those can't fall down there. What? So I'm going to have to lift them. All right, Flounder, you're in the way. Uh, you're still in the way, but temporarily, I guess I can work with that. So password's going to come through here in a weird way. Okay, so you just stay there for a moment. Oops. This snail can make it all the way around there. So I think I need to raise this this way. And then something. Let's try this. If I park a snail under that, move the other snail down, 
And then I can lift it one, two more. One more. Uh, two more, I think. Because I do this, get you out of the way, do this. And then get you out of the way. And that can go all the way up. Okay, and then I somehow repeat that process or do something similar. Which it looks like I can maybe do. Maybe. That's that's fine. Um, Shelby can't get all the way around. I'm not going to make this entire journey. And that would kill, kill them anyway right there. Uh, so Shelby needs to get down some other way. Okay, um, that's no good. Okay, so I can change surfaces by doing this. Uh, wait, can I? Well, not exactly. No, that hasn't helped anything. Hmm. Gotta get that snail past Guppy. Doing this Shelby, doesn't help. Is that in Java or C? <laughs> it must be in Java, Shelby. C has rounder parentheses <laughs> and fatter plus signs. <laughs> yep, that's how programming languages work. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Uh, okay, so I'm doing something wrong here. I would love it if you could just, like, crawl across Flounder's tail or something, get down there. Seems like I need the password over here to act as a bridge for well case. Okay, so, hmm. It's more complicated than that. Let me just leave you there for now. Um, that doesn't work, though. Okay, so my whole strategy for moving these is not really doing the job. Once I lift this, the snail is on this surface and kind of gets trapped. Can I park the password in such a way that makes this possible? Maybe if it were back in here. Yeah, if I plugged up this hole with a password, well, no, then the snail would still have a problem there. Uh, okay. If I could lift the password by one. Well, there isn't enough room for all that. Is there? Well, okay, so Flounder, you stay here. Password, you go here. Yeah, this could work. That could be the snail gate that lets a snail get from this surface to this one. Just stick onto that. Uh, lift up, stick. Put down, unstick. Problem is, Flounder has no place to hide while that happens. He's in the way. I need him gone. He needs to be over here. So for that to happen, I think that can maybe happen. Uh, yeah, okay, so if you hide there, uh, do the, um, no, what I want is, what I want is, some Shelby or another to be right about here well kinda like this thing is I kinda need you um, you just sit there for a moment I think that'll be okay This doesn't do at all what I wanted it to. OK. 
Can I? I think I can make this work. If I do that and this, I'm probably making this way more complicated than it needs to be. Uh, that's fine. Okay, but how does Flounder get around Guppy? He doesn't. I need her on the other side. Perhaps I need to stack snails. Okay, let's stack snails. When did I have an opportunity to... Okay, so if I did... If I did this, there we go. Got some stacked snails. Okay. So if Guppy's on this side. Flounder's going to hold that up. You get out of the way. You get out of the way. And you go over here. Uh, okay, you get a little more out of the way. Well, can you ever get back from that? No. Shoot. Um. Hmm. Hmm. That's pretty inconvenient. Okay, no, I think maybe... Okay, so let's let's do this again. Park these here and here. Uh, I don't need to hold that up, but apparently I'm doing it for some reason. Um, no, there's no way to get around that. That's He's just so in the way. Ugh. Huh. Hmm. Do I need one of these tools? I don't think I can get one of those tools. The whole situation I'm trying to set up here is just have Flounder out of the way over here, Guppy able to manipulate everything there and do what she needs to do. Um, the thing is, suppose I would raise these. How would that help me? Hmm. I mean, yeah, ultimately what I'm trying to do is to get Guppy under these and down here. Thing is, that doesn't seem like it helps. Snails don't die when steel pipes fall in them, right? I think that's right. But even so... Wait, okay, so right, this is where I got stuck the first time I tried to analyze this. Flounder cannot get down here at all. Uh, which means Guppy has to make it through here on her own somehow. She can't move steel pipes, though. That's going to fall right here and block this exactly. If I stick a snail onto this thing and push it to the right, I would end up with... Object, 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 snail, pipe, pipe. There's no way I can turn that into anything better, really. Am I just trying to do the wrong thing entirely? Snails can't push anything. It's only Guppy and Flounder. So there's no way I can have him move these pipes around. Those pipes are just going to go down and sit there blocking the path. Dropping them down doesn't really open up anything new, especially... This is where they started. Like, this lock just seems impossible. What would make it not impossible? So I have two snails at my disposal. I can't get any fish in here. I can get one fish, this fish, the, the non-pipe pushing one. Okay, so with two snails, both anchored to this surface, and this surface. She'd push to the right by one, so we'd end up with object, 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 snail, snail, pipe, pipe. So, let's see. That doesn't feel like it helps anything. Like, it feels like what it's asking me to do is somehow have Guppy sneak under here, 
these will drop down after her and lock her in. But how would that happen? Wait a minute. Am I supposed to use the password as a hat for this in some way? Yeah, I think that's what it is. Password has to come with me in here. Be on top of her. Have a snail on it on this side. Those will create a level surface here. Yep, that's it. Okay, so what's going to happen is password. Snail stuck to the bottom of it. So we got guppy, guppy, guppy. Password, password, password. Snail. And then I can just push straight to the right. Ooh, and another snail stuck to this side of it here. <laughs> so the two snails create a pipe-proof hat for Guppy to go all the way through here. Wow, that's uh, complicated, but believable. Okay, so that means I need to get this, 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 and this all through here all at once. That's going to mean... For one thing, Guppy has to go first and the password has to go after her. So it's probably... That probably means that the password needs to end up under these, holding them up with a snail already on the bottom of it. She'll already be in there. Flounder will push the password and snail structure onto Guppy's back. She'll lower it in here... Rearrange snails and get through there. Okay, so that means password has to go under this. All right. That is my primary tool for dealing with these. Okay, so how does the password go under this? Uh, I still have the problem that there's a snail up here and there's nothing I can do about that. And Flounder continues to be kind of in the way of everything. Hmm. If I could just get him out of the way, but I can't. He's going to be in this section no matter what. Wow, this is a uh, cramped little space. He can't really help with anything at this point. I don't want to do that. Uh, those need to go upward. I wish he could just get lost for a moment. And I could just teleport him over here without changing anything else. Hmm. I should have uh, saved that state. Well, it's, it wasn't that hard to get into. So is there any fancy stuff I can do in this process that will end up with both snails on the same, on the bottom surface? See, this is specifically a thing I need to do to have the snail on the top surface here. Because Flounder's got to get his big fat head in there. Shelby has to move all the way out of the way over here to get away from him. So no, that doesn't help. Like, this Shelby's going to get stuck no matter what I do here, it seems. Uh, okay, so let's try some alternate stuff. What if the snails are not there like that? You get over on that surface and just, just sort of go away. And Guppy's the one who holds this up. Oops. Flounder comes over here. Then I have the problem that Guppy can't get around Flounder. So just as much of a problem. I'm going to end up with one character over here, however I get him past this password. So I think he's just going to have to be in here with me, which is terrible. Because he's going to get in the way all the time. All right, how far back do I want to go? Not too far back. Okay, yeah, so something like this. A snail makes a journey in here. Let's try again for lifting this up with the idea in mind that I'm going to just have to deal with Flounder Okay, right, but the problem I had before was that, again, a snail ended up on this surface and I couldn't get it back down onto this surface, which is where I needed it for the, the next stage of this, right? Maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I can put a snail here. 
Use that to move this snail down. You out of the way. You up there. And then... All I need to do... Okay, so you just get out of the way. All I need to do is move... Stick this here. So then that's held up. Ooh. Uh, stick. So that's held up. And this can be held up too. That doesn't accomplish anything, though. Uh, I could hold that up higher. I think it might be better if you're in here. So you can switch which one's being held up. Okay. Yeah, actually, this might have some merit. So if I do this, and then that... It doesn't help me. Uh, yeah, I need that extra thing somehow. Oh, wait. Um, hmm. So I think my mission right now just needs to be a snail shuffle to get this snail back onto this surface. But, like, if I'm doing that, then I don't have anything to hold this up. Uh, what? Can you help out somehow, Flounder? I don't know how you could, but can you somehow do something? Can't really be pushing the password around. See, my hope was I could elevate this one more, stick this Shelby to it, and then... well, then I could just have Guppy lift this all the way up. Flounder could get under, and maybe replace her. Actually, could I... ooh, okay, okay, so maybe I could do that now. Uh, that goes there, this goes here, this goes here... This could be the beginning of something, maybe. So if you unstick, everybody just sort of gets out of there. Flounder can do this. Great. That's cool, I guess. Um, can I turn it into something better? Ugh, you guys are going to be in the way. Okay, so that changes the snail surface. Oh boy. Uh, ugh. The most cramped feeling space. Alright, so I can get both snails back around. Um, but what about Mr. Flounder there? Does that let him get back out out of my way? It better, somehow. Yeah, so what's my next step after this? I guess... Oh, yeah, I see how this will work. So what happens is you go up. You go here and you go here. He, uh, here? That hasn't accomplished a single thing, has it? Doesn't feel like it to me. No, I've really done nothing with that. Because now I'm right back to where I was with plus with Flounder in the way. Uh... Yep, I'm back to square one on this. Okay, so I guess the difference is that I have a snail in here now, like this. But how does that help me? And both of my snails are in there, so I can't lift... Ah. Yeah, no, this, this puts me right back to where I started. I'm back in this situation. Shoot! Shoot! 
Okay, well, I didn't make much progress. I thought out the later part of this puzzle. Worked out what I need to do here. But this locking mechanism sure is giving me some trouble. Alright, well, I'm going to think about it and come back another day and hope I have some more insight because, boy, this is such a tight little space. <laughs> it's hard to get anything done. I just can't imagine... I mean, hang on. Okay, so, so to lift this... I've done exactly this before. I just did a, a bunch of unnecessary steps. It didn't help me at all. To lift that, I do that. But at this point... Well, I don't want to move that left. I can't. At this point, this snail is stuck on the wrong surface. And it doesn't seem like I can do anything about that. Unless... Hold on! Just a second... If I had a situation... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I might see something. If I create this exact situation... If I can keep Guppy down here and get Flounder around her... Yeah, so the situation that I create with this... Uh, let's see, yeah, I want you in there, I think, maybe, and you here. The situation I create with this is that Flounder can boost this up and maybe get a snail through, th through, through there. So that seems good. Um, yeah, uh, there might have been an easier way I could have done that uh, than all the crazy gymnastics I did over there. But maybe, maybe I have something here? So right, this, this happens, that happens, and then... With her there... There's just barely enough space to do this. Yeah, that's the move I needed. Get the snail to the other side. Okay, so hang on, I'm not done here for, for the day yet. So you can move up, you can move that way, and there we go. Got a snail back to that surface. There we go. Now, exactly how was that going to help me? Um, it should. Because I can... Yeah, Guppy can continue holding that, that thing up indefinitely for all of her interactions with this that she needs to do. Um, one snail just needs to be... Uh, Let's see. I'm not sure I actually want you there. Let's just do a single snail for the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that. Hold this up. Move down. Move this down. Hey, look, I did it. There we go. Uh, now what? Now do the opposite and bring a snail up here, I guess? Maybe... Uh... How will I get you out? You need to get out before I do too much else. Um... Ooh... Uh, to get... Okay, hang on. I think I know what to do. But I want to make sure it works first. So I stick you to there, which lets you, uh, you stick to this side of that. And I can move over just a bit. So then if you hold this up... Uh, that's not what I want. What I wanted was... Okay, no, I'll be able to stick... Yeah, I, I see how this will happen. I'll be able to stick the snail to that... Hold it up, let Guppy move over there, then this snail can get out. Okay, that's what I'll do. Yeah, I'm not sure if doing the full rotation with Flounder getting under there was necessary to get him into a situation where he can make that little little snail boost thing. Uh, but it let me do it, so I will be happy that that worked. Uh, yeah, go, go that way. Do that. And then you, um, you get out of there. 
Yeah, look at this. Okay. Uh, oh boy. I hope this was useful. I hope I can somehow get to a solution from here because <laughs> I'm not actually sure that I can. I have that held open. Um, yeah, what did I say? So I needed to get this under here with a snail under it. Eh, okay, anything I do with snails... Okay, hang on, hang on. Let's say I would put flounder here. Move these over here. Oops, you... Here, whoever you are, go there. Yeah, so Flounder's my gatekeeper for the moment. Which lets me do stuff like this, I think. Something like that. Uh, how far can I get with this? I need you to be over here. And then come over here. And then I have a problem. Flounder's in there and is in the way. Unless, maybe... If I could do this. Yeah, maybe. Uh, no. Well, maybe. <laughs> um, why do I have snails sticking to that? That is not currently necessary. So Guppy's got to get in there under that somehow. I think all the stuff I just did there was wrong. But how else am I going to do that then? Well, okay. Um, not going to save that progress. I have a good save state for this. This is a good place to stop. Hoy! This is a complicated puzzle. <laughs> I'm getting somewhere though. This feels right. I haven't thought all the way through it. I know what I need to do here, but I don't know how I'm going to do it with those constantly in my way. Alright, well, I'll figure that out next time. I'll see you then.